I would probably first um, question the term post Chicano and even just the term Chicano. You know, I think we're we're beyond kind of that uh, very patriarchal. You know, say like Chicana Chicano are. Uh, I think is still alive and well, particularly, you know, I think really taking the analysis of saying that, okay, the Chicano movement is over, like really forces the question, well, you know, what was the Chicano movement or, and, and what is the Chicano, Chicano community doing now? And, you know, like some of the things that have occurred to me is that, you know, I think push back against that narrative are things like you have young people that readily identify as Chicana. You have the young men identifying as Chicana, so already there's a really d different relationship to gender there. Um, organizing an October 31st shutdown of the ICE uh, offices in San Francisco. And it's done under, you know, this umbrella term of Chicanisma. And so if there's, you know, coming out of the academy or coming out of certain, like, art critics' <laughs> writings, this declaration that the movement is over and that there's artists that are, you know, aren't departing from that or, or you know, that there's no, I mean, just like there was what they call representational art um, being marginalized because... Uh, and, and flipping that and saying, oh, well, you know, like it's contemporary art, it's about a different aesthetic, so on and so forth. It's kind of just doing the same thing that it's critiquing the previous movement from doing. But I think it really um, kind of eclipses the art that's still happening that is within a tradition, you know, like as poster makers, um, we're still making posters for those kinds of actions, that kind of organizing. Um, and, and I would say, you know, the, the bigger question is, it, it's not on the same massive scale, I think, that was happening in the 60s and 70s across sectors, but the 2006 mobilizations against the House Resolution 4437 far, you know, pushed the boundaries of what happened in the 60s and 70s. And so I think the question's like, what are we going to do with these moments now? You know, where are we going to go? Where is mass organization? Who's organizing? And I think as artists, working in 2009, like, that's what we're looking for. We have relationship and are constantly looking to build relationship with folks that want to do something about that, so, and, and, and feel that our art isn't unrelated to that. It's not the, you know, the dominant, like, art for art's sake, and I think that that's where we fit into that trajectory of artists that we're seen as Chicana, Chicano movement artists, is that we believe in being artists connected to a community and that there's this emancipatory space that's built out of the work that we're creating and creating the art and marching in the streets and you know doing civil disobedience like all of that works towards the same goals and and, and it's in partnership and relationship to each other so you know i guess that statement that post Chicano triggers me to think wow like that totally negates the reality that I live that you know I'm going out to the you know we're marching in the rain May 1st 2009 you know it's the every year folks are coming out and determined because there's still police checkpoints happening and there's still raids happening and people are having their doors knocked on and being asked about whether they're documented or not and those issues are still relevant to young Chicanos, you know, and you have folks that are crossing, like we have folks in some of our classes that are, you know, straight up indígena, and they identify with this movement, you know, like we had one student who came for their alternative spring break, he's like, Spanish is not even my first language, I've only been speaking it two years, I speak two dialects from Guatemala, and so, you know, I, I think it's more complex, but to think we're post Chicanismo, I don't know, it, it disturbs me to think that there's some kind of vacuum where, where history ends. Like, And I would really, you know, just argue against that because my reality negates that statement.